The applications of differentiation, we have an example for a dosage of x cubic centimeters of a certain drug. The resulting blood pressure is approximated by Bx is equal to 3 or 5 x squared minus 18 30 x cubed. And x lies between 0 and 0 0.16. So we are told to find the maximum blood pressure and the dosage at which it occurs. So that's differentiation. So we get the first derivative which gives us a uh, 610x minus. If we multiply that, that becomes 5490x squared. It be prime of x is equal to zero. And uh, we want to get uh, the critical point. And so if we do that, it basically means that uh, uh, 5490x squared is equal to 10610x and therefore x is equals to 610x over 5490x and that gives us the value of x at 549 so this is our critical point so the critical point of us so the critical point is at x is equals to 61 549 which is basically the dosage that we are talking about yeah so we are told to find the maximum blood pressure and the dosage at which it occurs so the dosage is uh that is the dosage because x is the dosage now let's find out if actually this is the maximum dosage that we can get. How do we get the maximum dosage? We test. So we are going to differentiate our B two times. We have differentiated the first time, and this time it gives us 610 minus 10980x. And when we substitute the value of x, 61 over 549, it becomes 610 minus 10, 980, 61549. And uh, this value will be equals to 610 minus. Uh, 549 goes to 1098 two times, so it will be 20 times 61. And definitely is less than zero. Uh, so, uh, so then, then we know that B X as a local maximum at that value that you've been given. X is equal sixty one five forty nine. So to answer the question, the first part is the maximum B B. That is maximum blood pressure. That will be getting from the computations. It will basically be putting, taking our BX, our BX, our X is 61,549. And then we substitute it into this equation. Then minus 1830. 61,549 cubed. And so the maximum blood pressure will be 1.255. And then the second uh, part is the dosage. The dosage is X is equals to 61,549. Uh, a moving body is given by the equation S is equals to 160T minus 16T squared. S is in meters and T in seconds. Find the body's velocity and acceleration as time T. So we know that velocity is given by change in speed with time. So that gives us the velocity, the change in speed with time, and that is what we have. 
and the velocity is given by meters per second. And then the second part is acceleration. And acceleration is given by change in velocity with time. And that gives us the acceleration. And it is in meters per second squared. And uh, it's a negative sign because the object is accelerating. Coming. I take equations of a curve and x is equals to 3t over 1 plus t and y is equals to t squared over 1 plus t. Want to find the equations of the tangent and normal at the point for which t is equals to 2. Which is a dy over dx. Or if you want to put it in a slightly different way, it is changing y all over changing x. And we know that dy dx will be given by dy over dt times dt divided by the dx. Over dt, not dx, the dy over dt, one thing we need to find out is uh, based on our equation, uh, we are going to use the quotient rule, our u is t, our u prime is 2t. And then our V is 1 plus T. And then our V prime is 1. So dy over dt is U prime V, which is 2T, 1 plus T, minus V prime, divided by 1 plus T squared. And X over dt. Uh, remember that our U is given by 3t so our u prime is 3 we want to use the quotient root to be able to differentiate this is 1 plus t and my v prime is 1 so my dx dt is u prime v minus v prime u i think that's what we have Divide everything by 1 plus t squared. And this, this simplifies to 3 plus 1 plus t squared. Now, we are looking for dt dx. dt dx will then be equals to 1 plus t squared over 3. And that takes us back to our problem that we had, which is finding the slope dy dx is equals to dy dt times dt over dx. And the first question is, what is my dy dt? My dy dt will be 2t plus t squared over 1 plus t squared, then times 1 plus t squared over 3. And uh, that simplifies the equation to a form uh, that gives me my slope of the line as 2t plus t squared divided by 3. And since I was taught to find the value at t is equals to 2, this will be 2 times 2 plus t, 2 squared divided by 3, which is 8 over 3. And that gives me the slope of the line of the tangent. First of all, I need to find the value of x when t is equals to 2. And that takes me to the equation of x, which is 3 times 2, all over 1 plus 2, which gives me... The answer is 2. And then I look for the value of y at t is equals to 2. And the y is given by 2 squared over 1 plus 2, which is 4 over 3. Now, y minus 4 over 3 divided by x minus 2 is equals to 8 over 3. So 3y, 3y minus 4 is equals to 8x minus 16. So 3y minus 8x is equals to minus 12, 
what form uh, the tangent equation to find the normal and we know that uh, for us to get the normal we know that uh, negative 3 over 8 times 8 over 3 is equals to negative 1 so this forms the gradient when we are forming the normal because for that to be then at the normal then the product of the two should be equals to negative 1 and therefore using the same points y minus 4 over 3 x minus 2 should be equals to minus 3 over 8 and therefore the equation to the normal it will be 8y minus that 2 over 3 is equals to minus 3x plus 6 so 24y minus that 2 is equals to negative 9x plus 18 and so that uh, forms the other equation, which is uh, the normal equation. 24y plus 9x is equals to 50. The normal equation that we get.